Good evening boys and girls, or good morning, or good afternoon, depends where you are and what time you're watching it. Um, welcome again to my channel, and today, today we have Pierre, Carlos and Jirk in the battle on Ruinberg on fire, a new kind of version of the map, basically they added few fires. and. Well, tell you the truth, I haven't seen this replay myself yet, so it's going to be kind of live commentary. Um, Pierre Ca uh, Carlos sent me the, this replay and said, yeah, look, have a look, it's quite good. So, let's see what he get. I mean, um, so far from what Carlos say, his favorite tank from the AT line uh, British tank destroyers he preferred still 85 which no sorry is it 82 yes 82 sorry my fault it's a T5 tank because have least amount of the weak points and for its tier is very very hard to kill he said further you go more weak spots and stuff like that but I think he enjoys this 8015 as usual, very slow, you can see what he's doing, like 18, between 17 and 18 uh, kilometers per hour, so yeah, very slow. Uh, again, quick reload time, so 4.78 seconds, not too bad. But I think the damage is not so big, let's have a look. No, yeah, it's 234, for T8 is not huge damage per shot, but because it's re reloading so often, it's not too bad. So yeah, as usual, uh, most of the team went near the cup circle. There are some uh, fights near the edge of the map on the column zero. But yeah, let's focus. So yeah, T-34. And yeah, we got him. Uh, our radio, radio operator died. I'm not sure if Carlos is going to resurrect him. But yeah, he decided to take care of those guys on the side. Yeah, they are quite dangerous. So yeah, he bounced. Okay, if you want to pass, pass from him. I have to say, it's quite accurate gun. I mean, it's not far distance, it's what, 98 meters. Well, yeah, it's quite hard with IS-6. Well, yeah. Oh, no, high explosives. Interesting. That was a nice good shot, almost hit the friendly tank. <laughs> And Jirk is getting frustrated with IS-3. No, a Tiger, sorry. He's in IS-3 himself. Oh, well, that couldn't go in. But this Tiger, yeah, should go in. Nice. And with the fire on the engine. Not bad. Look how many bounces he got. So far, we can see only one penetrating shot. I mean, one shot with the damage on him. Oh, that's the second one. And IS-6 is using premium ammo, and he still can't penetrate him. So I think how hard this tank is. I mean, looking on player statistics, they are orange, so I'm guessing they're not that great, so maybe they don't aim in the weak spots. Okay, so our cap I mean, not our, the cap is being cut because that's. I. Uh, kind of. this sort of battle when you have to meet in the middle. So, what's next? Uh, well, we won in the upper town on the column zero, definitely. E25 is running away. Uh, so, looking good. Uh, it's 9-4, so clearly winning. Uh, Carlos done 2,500 damage, not too bad. 
Uh, he didn't get damaged much, at least. He got two uh, frags, one T-34 and one Tiger. The Tiger was from burning. Oh, missed this one. Nice fun problem. Yeah. <laughs> That's quite accurate gun, I have to admit. Oh, I'm lucky. Well, funny how those two commanders had to align to each other, like KV-1S and T-25AT. But yeah. Oops. <laughs> This Yak Panther really shouldn't <laughs> do that. Well, uh, it's almost and I Jirk is oh doing quite well. He done what three frags, so it looks I already have a brother in arms medal. And this looks like the end of the battle. Um you will see the results in a second, battle statistics. Uh, I have to apologize for the quality of the pictures. I didn't have uh, pictures from Carlos, I have to download them from the uh, uh, replays. And uh, so I have to kind of increase the size of the image because the image on the VOD replay was really, really small. I mean, the font was really small. So thanks for watching. See you again later.